Well, good morning. I spotted this vintage truck in my uh, one of my woodworking books. I thought it was pretty cool. And uh, I think we'll make that as our next project. So first thing is choose some woods. I like a darker wood for this. Makes it more look more, I don't know, vintage or whatever. Um, it's calling for, I used some Patagonian rosewood. And it's calling for some rabbits to be cut in the edge that you see there. So I used this router table, a little quarter inch bit in there, and ran those through. There's the front windshield, the back, uh, and one of the doors. The other door, I've got over here on my spindle sander. Uh, that's what I used to, I cut, I cut the rough cut it out with the eighth inch blade on the bandsaw. I didn't use the scroll saw for this, but the bandsaw. And then I put the appropriate diameter I'm trying to hit in the corners, uh, the sanding belt. This this rigid spindle sander has been very valuable tool. It gets a lot of use. It's got different rings down below you can see in different diameters. So you, you match it up, put the plate on there. And I think this is the ring for it. Um, put the ring on, fits down in there. It's got a washer that you can... Uh, put on to keep that tighten that down it's a reverse thread which always seems weird uh, and then it's it turns and goes up and down so it doesn't leave too many sanding marks the the thing will really sand though very very uh quickly and uh, you got to be careful don't put the object you're sanding in there too hard or you'll end up with it a lot smaller than you intended anyhow that's where i'm i'm going there's a for the roof, somebody gave me this pretty nice piece of wood that's got this interesting dark streak in it. I'm not sure what kind of wood it is, but it's definitely cool. And uh, I thought I'd make the roof of the truck out of that. So you see that roof shape there. They got like a, a branch or something, a knot that was in there. It looked cool. But this is, this is the piece that I'm going to use. And for the engine block, Purple Heart, some tiger wood for the radiator, some baduke for the front seat, and there's going to be the steering wheel for it. I'm getting ready to cut out a couple of fenders. So what I did is I enlarged the picture of the truck and then cut that fender out, and I'll, I'll probably use a scroll saw for that one. And this that piece of wood, I haven't worked with this wood before, but there it is. Pacana. It'll be three-quarter thick. Kind of has a nice, feels pretty hard, pretty straight grain. So hopefully it'll be a tough wood and hold up to as thin as it's going to be. You know, I'm going to put those on each side. Um, and then these little pieces, I'm going to, they're from a wood store. Uh, I could turn my own, but I'm, these look really cool. I'm going to use those for the two headlights, old-fashioned headlights. I'm going to cut off those shafts and just use the headlight part uh, and see how they come out for the wheels I'm, I'm thinking about doing my first set of spoked wheels instead of those solid ones we'll see how that goes anyhow thanks for watching and i'll show some more videos as i progress